Sometimes children experience hardships or adverse childhood experiences, ACEs, things like experiencing abuse or neglect or experiencing violence in their home or even living with a parent or caregiver with untreated mental illness or substance abuse issues. When that happens, these children can experience what we call toxic stress, uh, especially if it happens over a period of time. And just like adults, children have big feelings too. So in those situations, they may feel things like worry, or feel scared or sad, or confused even. And they need somebody to help them with those feelings. They can't do it on their own. If they don't have those nurturing, safe, supportive, responsive relationships with someone that is close to them, an adult in their life, it can make them feel like the world might not be a safe place. And it can make it harder and, and sometimes nearly impossible for them to explore their environment, learn, play with others, be ready for school. It's so important that we recognize those needs early and we put those services and supports in place to help build or even rebuild some of those safe, nurturing, supportive, responsive relationships so that that child can begin to feel like the world is a safe place and that they're going to be okay. And then they can get back to learning and playing and growing, which is what they need to do. You know, it doesn't mean that services and supports later in life can't be helpful or effective. We just know that if we can recognize those needs early in life and intervene early, we can have such a positive impact on that child and their development.